So if you're wondering why the Biden administration wasn't allowing journalists into the migrant detention facilities, i.e. cages where we keep little kids, um, I think that this photograph from the Daily Beast sheds some light onto why that's the case. Because when they finally allowed journalists in, they snapped this photo and they learned this. As Martha Mercer of the Daily Beast reports, 500 migrant kids crammed into plastic pods meant for 32 people. So before I get to the article, let's just stop and reflect on this. We're in the middle of a pandemic, and this is happening. There's absolutely no justification for this. There's no excuse. Yes, there's an influx of migrants at the border, and at the beginning of something like this, I, I can understand an administration being flustered, trying to figure out where to house these migrants in a way that is you know, actually humane, but there's been ample time now for you to come up with a solution. This is no longer excusable. Resources should be dedicated to immediately changing this because this is not safe during a pandemic. Now, as the Daily Beast reports, journalists were allowed in for the first time Tuesday to see the U.S. Customs and Border Protection's biggest facility for unaccompanied migrant children and returned with shocking details. Kids with foil blankets sat shoulder to shoulder inside plastic pods. Each pod was made to house 32 people, but held more than 500 kids, all wearing masks, but not tested for COVID-19 unless symptomatic, the AP reports. Younger kids are held in walled playpens. In all, the tent facility in Donna, Texas, which opened February February 9th now holds more than 4,100 migrants, though under the CDC pandemic guidelines, it should have no more than 250 people. Oscar Escamilla, the Border Patrol's Rio Grande Valley sector's acting executive officer, told the AP the positivity rate at the center was 14%. The kids are supposed to stay no more than three days at the facility, but a Department of Health and Human Services backlog meant they're held much longer, with hundreds more unaccompanied migrant minors crossing the border each day. So this is unacceptable. This is unjustifiable. This is an emergency. A lot of these minors that come here, they actually have family in the United States. So while you process them, perhaps you can allow them to reach out to family members and stay with them. Either way, like however you cut it, this is completely indistinguishable from what we saw from the Trump administration. Sure, it's not the case that Joe Biden is intentionally separating families at the border as a means to deter further immigration from uh, from Mexico and, and uh, South America, but this is not sustainable during a pandemic. It's still, even if it weren't a pandemic currently, how is this justifiable where we have them sleeping in cages? Do we not have a more long-term solution? Are we always scrambling when it comes to these issues? It's just, it's not acceptable. And all of the liberals who told us that Trump caging kids was absolutely human rights abuse, where are you now? What do you have to say about this? Don't be like the Republicans. Liberals and leftists shouldn't be like the Republicans who are hypocritical and they change their political view on something depending on who's in power. So Republicans all week have been insufferable. Ted Cruz, other Republican senators, they went to the border and they've been grandstanding all week talking about how cruel this is. And it is cruel. The issue is that you weren't saying anything about this back when Donald Trump was doing it. When he was separating families at the border and they had to build extra facilities to house toddlers, you didn't say anything. But now that Biden is president, all of a sudden... You're feigning outrage? It is outrageous. But we know you're lying and you're just using these kids for purposes of political expediency. So the right are absolutely grotesque. They're hypocrites. But the left and even liberals, I expect to condemn this. Yes, this is a very complex situation. There's a lot of nuances. And this is an issue that is difficult. If there is an influx in minors at the border, unaccompanied minors at the border, to be clear, then you have to figure out a way to house them. We don't turn them away, but we house them. The issue is we don't treat them like animals, like cattle, and shove them in these cages where they're only meant for 32 people. This is not safe, and it's inhumane. And there's nothing left to be said about that. This is unjustifiable. It's indefensible. And it's an emergency. You know, if Biden actually wants his actions to match the rhetoric that he's using with regard to immigration and migrants at the border, then you actually have to solve this problem. 
You can't just let this go on. This is absolutely unacceptable.